AI is everywhere. You see it everywhere you look. You see it on your social media. You see it on the news. You see it on the internet, your email inboxes. Everybody's talking about it. I use it every single day. What do I use it in? Two of my favorite, most commonly used items every day are Canva and Notion, and they have their own AI tools in both of those apps. But what I'm not seeing a whole lot of is keywords everywhere utilized with ChatGPT, and that is probably my most useful tool right now. If you don't know what Keywords Everywhere is, Keywords Everywhere is actually a browser extension that gives you a lot of detailed information when you are doing searches in Google. I'll get into that just a tiny bit here, but what I really want to show you is exactly how Keywords Everywhere has incorporated itself into ChatGPT because that's where it's really powerful. I'm Marie Daniels with The Content Lift and I create easy tutorials for busy people. So let's jump in and show you exactly what Keywords Everywhere does. So Keywords Everywhere is a tool that gives you some in-depth information. You can see here where it says you can install it for either Chrome or for Firefox. And I'm gonna show you just very high level exactly what it does. Okay, so here's my Google search. If I put in senior real estate specialist here, it will come up with a lot of information. You may be wondering why exactly I'm going to use senior real estate specialist. Well, not only am I a real estate agent in local San Diego area, but I've also been a digital marketer for well over 15 years. And so when I went back to real estate, I also took on some real estate agent marketing clients. And so this is a tool that I use when I'm doing some of their content writing. So as you see here, if you were to write in senior real estate specialist in your Google search bar and you don't have keywords everywhere, you wouldn't have all this extra information. All this extra information over here just kind of helps you with your content writing and making sure that you get found. So here's some related keywords. Here's some things that people are also searching for, long tail keywords. You can get really, really in depth with explanations for what Keywords Everywhere is, but by adding this little Keywords Everywhere extension to your browser, it gives you this really cool information. But again, today is about the AI tool that Keywords Everywhere has created to utilize with ChatGPT. So let's jump in there. So if I go into a brand spanking new ChatGPT window over here, I will see a couple things now that I have the Keywords Everywhere extension. Over here it says, keywords, templates, and then over here it says, please continue. We'll get into this one a little later, but down here, these templates are prompt templates and it really is a powerful tool. So if I click this, I get this pop-up and over here you'll see, choose a category. Well, let's, let's write a blog post today for the, for the keyword senior real estate specialist, which by the way, is a designation that you can get from realtors. So Choose a category. Here are your options when you click on this drop down menu copywriting, marketing, SEO, social media. So let's do copywriting. For the subcategory, you get these items. Well, we're going to do some content writing today. Let's select a template. Do I want it to generate some titles? Do I want to rewrite some content? Well, let's, let's start with the outline generator for now. Okay. So if I do that, it comes over here and it has these options, languages, voice tones, and writing styles. So English is what I'm gonna do this in. When you click voice tones, it gives you such an array of different voice tones that you can utilize for this particular drop down menu. And over here in writing styles, I'm gonna use informative, but you've got all of these as well, descriptive, etc. As for the article title, well, let's do this. What is a senior real estate specialist. Well, you may have seen some action down here in the prompt template when I did that, but down here in the prompt template, it is just that, it's a template. And then whatever you write in this article title area is filled in automatically here. And so once I hit execute template, it goes to work. And this tool really does just start to get to it. Now, one of the things I like to caution people about and is is that ChatGPT is pulling its information from the net. So what does that mean? Well, as we all know, the internet has misinformation in it as well. So anytime you are going to utilize this tool, it's really important to check and make sure that it's accurate information and it's information that you want to put your name to and sounds like you and gives the information that you want to hand off to your audience in a way that 
portrays exactly what you're trying to trying to get out there, right? All right. So it put together an outline all based on what is a senior real estate specialist. Pretty cool, right? Well, if I go over here and I click this again, you'll see it has the outline generator. But now why don't we do something else. Maybe we want to do a monthly content calendar because we want to create a strategy for this particular topic, right? So once it does this, I will keep all of these items up here for voice tones and writing styles. For the topic, we're going to put senior real estate specialist in again. Say I want one article per week and I want to do it for three months. Well, that should give me 12 articles, right? So let's see what it generates. I hit execute template and it goes to work again and it creates a table for me. It creates the content calendar in an easy to read format so that I know exactly what it's doing. Look at this month one, week one, week two, week three, week four. It gives me the, it gives me the title and it gives me the topic. You have a content calendar. So say I want to do blog writing and say, I want to create a blog post from the topic. I'll keep everything the same. And again, I'll go ahead and hit real estate, senior real estate specialist, but say, well, for expediency's sake, let's just do three headlines or headings so that we don't have a super long article. Execute template. And this is where it goes. It gives me the outline and then it'll write the article. And again, Please, please, please make sure that the information that it is giving is accurate. And there it is. There's the article with three different headings and introduction, the qualifications and the benefits of working with an SRES. Pretty cool, right? Up here, I told you I would show you what this little button did. It says, please continue, clarify, exemplify, expand. You can rewrite it. You can explain it. You can make it longer. Let's shorten it say we want something a little more concise. And here it goes. And this article will be a lot shorter. It's more of a paragraph, just lets you know exactly what it is that a senior specialist is and what the benefits of hiring them are. So maybe you use this, for instance, for just the caption of a short post on social media. Well, that's it. It's a great tool. Again, I love it. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you liked what you heard today, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hit the little bell, find out exactly what I'm talking about next week. And so that you know, and go ahead and share this. If you have any comments or questions, just go ahead and leave them below and I'm happy to answer them. I'm Marie Daniels with the content lift, and I hope that this was an easy tutorial for your busy schedule. So until next week, bye.